Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my video, Ultima125. My name is Ultima125, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about this other card game that was made, and it's sort of, it's recent. It's called Card Fight Vanguard. Alright, as you can see. And it's still not popular right now, I don't know much, but um, if I have to describe it in like, from related to other games, I gotta say it's somehow related to both Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! and re also related to Waishu Wars, which is another Japanese card game. And I heard that it came out in English deck, but I haven't really seen it yet, so... Anyway, moving that aside, uh, right now I'm gonna just introduce what Vanguard is, and I'm just gonna take tell you of um, how you could build your own deck, or um what they do pretty much i'm going to show you all the clans and tell you the rules of it before i show any more videos of vanguard vanguard so let's start it okay so the basics of a vanguard deck is a min is a maximum of 50 cards you cannot have any less or more than 50 so you need to have exactly 50 cards in a deck and to make an official deck, you need to have exactly 16 triggers. And as you can see, what I have up front in the screen is all the triggers. There's only four triggers total. Each clan uses each trigger um, for specific use. So then, I'm gonna tell you what each one does. This, if you look at the top right of each card, you're gonna see you're gonna see those triggers. Each of those triggers has the plus 5,000. What that implies is you could. Um, get the plus 5,000 to either your vanguard or your rear guard and I'll explain that on my next video video so please uh, hold on to that, hold on to that thought so uh, this is a draw trigger and by, by the sound of it it's just what it sounds like you get to draw an extra card than uh, normal here you see a stand trigger also same thing each trigger always have the plus 5,000 and stand is what it also sound, sounds like so uh, in Magic, you guys, if any of you know how to play Magic, you tap. So, Stan allows you to untap that monster again and allow him to attack again. And so, that's pretty much how it is, but... Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, critical triggers are, like, in a lot of what RPG does. Um, they do extra damage, or they do twice as much damage. The units themselves, as you can see on the bottom, where, near where the attack um, number is, there's a critical that... There's a critical that has the same star shapes as the critical. That just tells you how much damage you, your uh, allies could do at a time. So the critical puts one plus one more to that, making them be able to do two hits instead of one. Right. And heal trigger is technically just heal. Uh, so technically what the heal does is just heals your damage. The max damage you can, you can take in the game is up to six. Once you hit that re six damage, it's uh, game over for uh, you. So that's all the triggers you could have. You could do very. You could do. Uh, you only only have four copies by the way. Only four copies of each um, art and all that. So then you could. So technically, uh, by all the release, you, there's a lot of different uh, copies of criticals, different uh, names and all that. But for heals, you could only have four. That's the rule because. Um, it'll be too OP for the deck to have more than four heals. So, finding out the heal that leaves you with like twelve more. So technically, you could have like um, six draws and four crits, or eight crits and four sands, any kind of combination you want. But the standard deck is having four of all the triggers. Triggers. So that's what those are. Okay, so then I'm gonna start of uh, starting vanguards. Uh, what vanguards is technically um, in you in you you, know, you attack the person themselves at, for la to attack them directly in life points, right? So technically, in other words, the vanguard themselves are like you that's gonna be taking the damage, making forcing you to take like each damage up to six. You lose, like I said. So starting vanguards are technically what you start with. So. As you can see, there's the same thing as the triggers, right? Triggers, they're all like grade zeros, right? Well, these ones, as you can see, they don't have the triggers 
triggers up on the top right. So technically, a good um, vanguard, starting vanguard, is uh, the effect, and I guess um, what else can I say? Well, I know uh, for me, in my opinion, I don't know. I don't mind about the power of what they have. The only thing I kind of care about is their effect. So pick the best starting vanguard that you can find. Put that in the deck, and you should have a good nice uh, startup. Startup. So since I just told you um, how to build a deck, well, uh, not technically. The I hear the consistent deck is having eight grade threes. Um, eleven grade twos, I think, and whatever that's left for grade ones. That's when I hear that's it, but I really don't think that's good. But anyway, uh, let me tell you what about each clan and what they're specialized in, so that way you could have a general idea when you decide to start pick start Carfight Vanguard and decide to do it with players. Players. Um, here first we have the Grand Blue. And if you're wondering how you can find out what each clan on the bottom right shows what unit they what clan they are and what kind they are. So pretty much this guy is a ghost. And Grand Blues, what they technically do is uh you have a unit that you want in the drop zone. He might have an effect that only activates when he's in the graveyard, in other words. The drop zone is a graveyard or whatever you guys like to call it. So technically what this does is so technically, he's not one of those that does that, but he's one of those that mills. One of the cards that mills, so that's very uh, helpful for a lot of Grand Blues. Because they mostly focus on, uh, as you can say, special summoning cards from the graveyard. So that's what Grand Blues mostly special about. Next one is Spike Brothers. Um, Spike Brothers is kind of uh, hard to explain, but what I... Um, know so far about them is that Spike Brothers uh, focuses more on calling units from the deck I'm guessing I really don't know much about it yet but that's what I am concluding right now so if I'm wrong or anything then sorry so this is a grade 2 by the way so if you look on the top left you see the grade 2 like I showed you with this one this one's a grade 1 so technically, um, I should probably tell you about the symbols that's also below the grades. This one represents boosting. So only units that has this kind of symbol can boost the units in your front row. Uh, like I said on my next episodes, I'll show you how to play the game. How to play the game. So this is just um, description about them. And this symbol right here is called intercept. Only grade two has this kind of ability where they could intercept. Uh, your opponent whenever if they're on the field and all that so that's pretty much what those are uh, next one is called the gold paladin and in my case the gold paladin is similar to the royal paladins and I'll show you that in a little bit I guess um, so technically gold paladins are technically have more units on the field to give your vanguard big boost that's pretty much it and as you can see, this is a grade 3. That's the highest grade 3 there is. There has been rumor about a grade 4 coming out and all that, but it did come out, but only for great nature, and it's going to be unusable around February. And under the grade 3, you see two swirly uh, lines going around each other. That's called a twin drive check, and I'll explain that on my next video what that is. So, grade 3. So, uh... This is one of the cars that is a Royal Paladin, as you can see. Uh, not that cool, I'm sorry. I um, couldn't uh, find my Royal Paladins. I lost them, even though it was a big pile. Let's just scatter somewhere. Um, anyway, so technically, Royal Paladin, same thing as Gold Paladin. More units on the field and big boost for attacking. Um, the next one is... Uh, Nabutama, uh, technically ninjas, but the sad thing about them is they really never uh, made uh, official deck, so nothing to say about them. They just control your hands, and trust me, this kind of game, uh, hands, hand power is the best uh, thing. 
So there's nothing to talk about Nabutamas, but all I can say is they make you discard a lot of cards. Cards. Um, darker regulars are technically so, uh, soul charge heavy. Uh, what I mean about soul charging is um, is what I'll be explaining next episode. So yet again, I'm talking about something that's ahead of time and not right now. So I'm sorry. So technically, darker regulars uh, uses their soul to our advantage in order to uh, hit your opponent hard uh, with a power boost. Just uh, great nature, like I said, are the only ones that have the great four, but technically that's gonna go out soon. And uh, technically, I. Don't know. I think they retire their units mostly, like the Shadow Paladins, which I forgot to add them. But uh, technically, with Shadow Paladins, retire their own units to gain more power. Um, for Great Nature, is kind of similar, except they give the power before they retire their units. So that's what that is. Uh, next is Tachikaze. What they are mostly good at is probably defense, like guarding yourself in. I'll explain that when I start actually playing at playing all the cards out. I do have my own decks that I could play at, so I could just show you. Um, so uh, this is, Tachikaze are probably specialized in a defending, like in military force, like always the best defense is always the best offense too. So um, I think that's good. What their kind of strategy is. Uh, Dimension Police recently came out, and they, you can make, now make a deck with them now. The I don't know much about them, so I'm sorry I can't explain more about the Dimension Police, nor I have a deck for it yet. Uh, Beaming the Triangles, in other words, like I like to call them the top idol uh, ones. And Tangle, what they're mostly uh, best at is bouncing back their own units back to your hand, and that's very helpful when you want that hand size in, because some of the cards will has the effect to allow you to draw another card once they're bounced bounce back from the field. So that's what they're good at. Mega Colony stops um, you from standing. So, uh, yeah, Mega Colony looks like books. Don't worry. They are books. Uh, so, Mega Colony, uh, like spider webs, uh, unable you to move. They unable your uh, units to untap. So, the Vanguard cannot be targeted by their effect. But they could still target your rear guard, make forcing them not to stand again. So uh, that's something to be aware of. Um, Nova Grapplers. There's I gotta say Nova Grapplers is probably the best uh, deck to go up against a Mega Colony because they specialize in standing their own units a lot. Yeah, what I mean a lot, they do it a lot. There's a lot of stand triggers, and I really do not want to count how many stand triggers there are for you viewers. But if you guys really want to, then uh, send me a comment and I'll count them for you. So, uh, this is an over grappler. He's one of the cars that could bounce back after boosting, only if it hits. That's the problem. So, hitting those vanguards is hard sometimes. Uh, next is Pale Moon. Pale Moon, or I like to call them Circus Freaks. Because they all look like circus. Anyway, uh, what they're specialized in is balancing from the soul. And um, trust me, when you have cards in the soul, some of those cards that you really want on the field, this card could seriously uh, help you with that. But um, So yeah, that's pretty much what they do. They bounce in and they bounce out. So technically, you know, they're juggling in the soul. Uh, soul of the event. Soul. Uh... Oracle Think Tanks, in other words, I like to say OTTs, uh, right here, and technically they're like fortune tellers, I guess you could say, and they specialize in uh, having draw powers, and like I said, draw power, very, very good, so yeah, uh, this is one of the triggers, by the way. Angel Feathers, uh, technically they are um, hospital nurses and all that, they specialize and uh, switching out units from the damage zone. So that's what they're good at. Uh, Kagro and Narak uh, Naraku Narakamis are both similar. They do mostly a big damage to your opponent. So thank you for watching. And I hope to see you on my next video on Vanguard.